So today the topic uh, which we are going to discuss is debugging in BW4 HANA. Debugging the AMD pyrotine. Okay. So I take in a ADS4 which is sourcing data from another ADS4 and in the transformation there is an N routine and if we go to the edit symbol here I am opening this uh, BW4 HANA ABAP project to check my code. So in the code you see there is a method a global end and end method in between there is a short code is there just for our testing purpose. Okay. I want to debug this code. I want to stop at this particular line and see how the execution is happening. And that is our requirement. Now let's see how can I achieve this. Okay. In order to debug uh, an end routine the thing is uh, you need to have one perspective called uh, debug perspective. If you go to window perspective open perspective other here there is a debug perspective is there just try to click open it so that it will be opened when the debug perspective is open you see there is a breakpoint tab and a debug tab for me it is coming here but for you it may come anywhere in your uh, you know uh, windows okay in the, in the sana studio w so now in the breakpoints currently there are no breakpoints now we need to set a breakpoint then by executing the DTP in the simulation mode, it um, you know the execution will be halted the breakpoint. Now if I go to the DTP first, so in the DTP, uh, currently the DTP whatever I am having is a full DTP. So if my source contains data, full DTP will extract some data from the source, and then automatically based upon our breakpoint, it will be halted at the breakpoint position. Okay. Now going to the transformation here. In the transformation, I need to keep my breakpoint first, right? How to keep the breakpoint? When you open the transformation in the general tab, if you go to the properties section here, on the bottom there is a properties. Okay. So go to the this is nothing but the properties of our transformation. You need to go to this properties uh, tab. For example, if you don't find this properties, then uh, go to window, go to show view. Here you will find the properties uh, somewhere. If it is not here, go to other and uh, you know search for the properties it will be there select it and uh, open so the properties will come in the properties go to the technical details in the technical details there is an ABAP protein class read only you need to click on this ABAP protein okay now this is all because it is an ABAP protein um, so aim not ABAP protein sorry uh, it's an active protein so because it is a coding part so it is asking for ABAP project I'm selecting my ABAP project and clicking on OK, BW4 HANA ABAP project. Remember that is now this is the my uh, that part whatever I clicked right the enter program class. If I scroll down here, here I can see my method global end and end method, and this is my lines of code which are written. Now I want to stop my execution at the first line. For that I need to keep a breakpoint here. So before keeping a breakpoint here. If I go to this breakpoints tab, you see there are nothing is there. Whenever you double click on this line, you see this is the line. And if you right click on it, there is an option to show line number also. Okay. Uh, le left to the line number, you need to double click here. If you double click, then a breakpoint will be set here. So when you set here, you can see one entry here. Okay. It's not coming. Let me check why. One second. So when I click on this, uh, you know, this uh, show breakpoint supported by selected target, when I click on it, then it came here. Line number 80. It means at line number 80, there is an active breakpoint. This, remember, this particular at the breakpoint, so you need to see this entry. If it is there, then only it we can make sure that, okay, I set a breakpoint at line number 80. Now go to the DTP and go to this execution button here, simulate in dialog. Click on it. So when I click on this one, DTP is opening in the GUI here, and then I'm clicking on the simulate button. Now uh, if everything goes fine, you see my code execution got st stopped here. Under under this debug uh, view, I can see that uh, procedure global end and uh, exactly it was stopped here. So what are the next things? Now what is this statement out tab is equal to select star from in tab. So there is some data in the in tab. 
now that data is going to copy it into my out tab now you see when i click on hover you know when i keep my mouse on the out tab it is telling out tab contains table with zero records and when i click you know keep my mouse here on in tab it is saying in tab is a table with content four records if you want to see these four records double click on the in tab okay when you double click on the in tab you see on the bottom and you know a4h in tab it, it is showing one window here so here you can see the four records okay and there is a, another tab here called variables okay so this is nothing but uh, all the variables which are you know uh, available here not all variables which uh, current system can take it if you want to this uh, this window to the next to your window uh, just a drag and drop so it will come for example if i drag and drop to the right hand side so i can clearly see my uh, some of the information here i need to adjust my view accordingly to see the information here okay so in tab contains four records out tab contains currently zero records and because this line of code is not yet executed i need to press here on the top if you see there is a step called f6 step over if i click on this step over then this line got executed and it came to the next step you see there is a small arrow mark here okay it came here mm, now now you see my out tab contains four records because the successful execution of the select statement is fetching and storing four records in my out tab table okay so if i want to see my data in out tab double click on out tab then again it will open you see if i kept it on the right hand side i am not able to see all the table entries clearly but at the end it is there okay now if i press again f6 this statement will be executed and according to this statement on the amount column i am multiplying quantity with 10 so yeah let me bring back uh, this to the bottom mm, one minute here i am not able to see all data i'm bringing it over to the bottom so you see on the amount column quantity into 10 it is happening and i can see this 400 here so like this so the end and the end is how to debug so in order to debug the um, imdp code we need to open the transformation by going into the properties the class and then keeping a breakpoint understanding check verifying that breakpoint was set properly or not and then executing the dtp in the simulation mode and one point that we need to keep in mind is uh, okay let's finish this one now if you if you are done with and you want to continue further then simply there is an option here called resume f8 if you click on this resume button then code will be executed normally but because we execute the dtp in the simulation mode nothing will be returned to the target it's just a simulation okay so this is how to debug an amdp code for example okay in the transformation if it is not amdp if it is an abap code written on the bw400 transformation then this is not the process we have a small change in the process that also i will discuss okay so now once you are done what we can do we can deactivate this breakpoint how to deactivate again double click on this dot then it will be deactivated you see the entry got you know gone from here and then in the debug session also terminated whatever session got started for the debugging it was terminated okay so this is how to debug in amdp and when coming to the dtp because it's a full dtp my source contains data it was uh, you know source uh, dtp extract some data and debugging happened properly if you are trying to debug a delta dtp and in the source if there are no new delta requests then dtp this dtp doesn't fetch any data from my source at that time they, it won't go to the debugging mode remember that point okay well uh, debugging the delta dtp okay if it uh, if the source provider contains some requests which are not yet loaded to target then you can debug that it's not a big problem now what i'm going to do so i'm going to close this dtp and uh, close my transformation and this one i hope now you are clear with how to debug in amdp routine either it is a start routine or end routine or uh, expert routine amdp level same kind of steps need to go to the uh, general tab and then go to the property section open the bottom active routine class if you open it and then set your breakpoint you are done 
hopefully it will work okay so next thing is how to debug an um, abap code written in the bw4 hana so to explain that one what i am going to do i am deleting this code whatever amdp i written i am deleting this uh, amdp code and then creating an abap code here okay i am going to fill this amount I'm going to edit mm, and then selecting my abap project clicking on okay I quickly write a few lines of code here for our testing purpose. Mm. Method global end here insert your code here. So loop it. Um, I'm not writing everything simply trying to finish quickly. Loop it result package assigning result fits and loop in the here i am simply doing result underscore fields amount is equal to result fields quantity into 10 that's it a simple line of code just to for our debugging now i want to debug this loop okay uh, i want to keep my breakpoint here and First, before that, first let's activate the code. And to, let's increase the one more line. If result underscore package is not initial. Okay. At the end, end loop. Why written? Just end loop. Oh, sorry, end if only. Yeah, end if. Mm. How to use pretty printer here? Right click. Go to source code format format it's like a pretty printer here okay now i'm activating my code it's an abap code okay so i'm abap protein this is closing here and then activating my transformation so once we did some changes in the transformation there is a chance the ddp got inactive so once the transformation is activated let's activate the ddp also Okay, yeah, you see DTP was inactive. Let's activate the DTP also. Now our target is how to debug this ABAP protein written in the um, BW4 HANA system. So in order to uh, debug this ABAP protein, what I need to do, the uh, step, few steps are common. Open the transformation, go to general tab, go to property section, and then copy. Copy this class name. Okay, copy this class name. Now go to SAP backend. Backend, go to SC24 transaction. Because it is a class, I am going to SC24. Okay, SC24. And then giving the class name, click on display. And there is a global end method is there. Go to global end method. Here is our line of code. Now I am selecting the line and giving this external breakpoint. Okay, so now I set my external breakpoint from the SAP GUI. Remember that point, not from the HANA Studio. Maybe you can keep it by opening the screen, but I did from the SAP GUI screen. Okay, once after you set the breakpoint here, now go to your HANA Studio. Now go to your DTP and then try to execute this DTP in the simulate mode, simulate in dialog. Go to simulate. You see, ABAP debugger is starting. Okay. Now, when SAP GUI screen started and uh, it was opened, here I am going to desktop 3. Now, if I double click on this uh, result package, I can see it contains four records. Okay. So, it means that if you want to debug ABAP protein in the B400 transformation, you need to keep the breakpoint in the GUI in the, trans in the class of the transformation. Okay, and if you want to debug AMDP, then you need to set the breakpoint within the HANA Studio from the debug perspective, uh, where you can check it. Okay, remember this difference. Okay, simply by pressing F8 here, I can continue the process, and then it will be closed. Uh, it's uh, not closing. Okay, let me go to HANA Studio. You see, it was completed here. If I close this session, 
I think hopefully the backend debugger also got closed. You see, it was closed. Okay, so like this. So I hope it is clear for you how to debug a transformation in B4 HANA for both AMDP kind of thing and ABAP kind of thing. Okay, happy learning. Thank you.